Hello everybody and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. And welcome back to the Eddie Griner My Career series here in NCAA, I mean NBA 2K13, sorry. Sorry I'm a little out of breath, but okay. So in this episode, we're taking on one of the best teams. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I Did I say the best? One of the best? I said no. We're taking on the best team in the NBA. The Oklahoma City Thunder. But did you just... Uh, actually, I'm going to... I'm going to show that record again. Look at this. They're 10-1 and one at home. 7-1 and one on the road. That's unbelievable. And that, in fact, they are in the middle of a five-game winning streak. So one of those, one of our winning streaks will be coming to an end at this point. And we're screwed because, well, we're playing them at home. We're playing them at home. And after this, we're in the middle of an easy streak here. Or during this one. So now, I said we're going to play it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play a game against a game at Oklahoma City and then against the Jazz. So here we go. Eddie is the point guard for the Los Angeles Lakers. Jeez, I'm now finally starting to get used to saying that. He started off in Houston. He is the Nigerian relative of Brittany Griner. Who right now, she the Baylor Lady Bears are doing pretty well in real life. But this is probably his toughest, Eddie's toughest task to date. As he moved up from possibly a 14th place team in the Western Conference to the second behind the Oklahoma City Thunder. So here we go. As we head to the Seska Peak Energy Arena in Oklahoma City. Home of Jack Swagger. Home of Jim Ross. You name it. Well this is probably going to be Eddie's toughest task to date here. Because he has to guard either Russell Westbrook or Kevin Durant. And speaking of Kevin Durant, he's on the cover of this game. And as Eddie makes his first court appearance, as the Lakers are up by one. With just a minute 58 left to go in the first quarter. So here we go, and I was surprised that was not a foul there. And that was a big mistake, as there goes Russell Westbrook. And here he goes, as will Eddie give him the out Oh, Ooh, almost got him there. So here's Eddie Griner making his first move, trying to make a move, and he will miss it. But a valiant attempt there for a shot there, but he gives it to Kevin Durant. So... Here we go, we give it, and there's another another turnover. So the Thunder are doing a good job of stopping Eddie. And there's a shooting foul on Mr. Griner. So two turnovers so far, and Coach Brown is liking what he sees, which it should be Coach D'Antoni in real life, Coach Mike D'Antoni. So Eddie's back in as the Lakers trail by seven, if you guys heard that. And there you see it, and there's turnover number three. And another foul on Eddie. No, it's Matt Barnes. And there you see the standards. So here we go. Two free throws thanks to Barnes' mistake. And and he's going to get him back in there quick, which they ended up doing, and the Thunder have a 10-point lead. But Eddie's in a shooting guard. But and we have a little dynamic goal here. So here goes Eddie as Eddie will... Give it to Kobe, and Kobe, I'm just surprised Kobe got it, and he got the took the shot, and there's an assist. And Kobe goes for the end one, and makes it. And it's clear that's a change for the better from what he was able to do at the free throw line a year ago, guys. 
Josh. And Eddie made a back call for a passing. There's a ooh, and he missed the dunk. And here comes James Harden as he's gonna make the shot, and he oh, he missed. So at the end of the half, the Thunder lead the Lakers, 46-39. And welcome. Halftime report coming your way with an excellent game going on in Oklahoma City. I mean, the Thunder, they're 17 and 2. How are we supposed to beat them? So here we go. Eddie's been moved to point guard, and now he has to guard Russell Westbrook, who came out of UCLA. Which we, which, which didn't, we didn't call on Eddie. So that's Eddie's first foul of the game. Oh, that's his second. I forgot about the one in the beginning of the game. Now he has to guard against James Harden. There's Russell Westbrook. And there he goes again, and he scores again. So here we go. Here's Kevin. There's Steve Nash. Whoops. Why did I say Kevin Nash? No, no, no. And there's, there's Eddie, and he won't miss again. And right now it is 50 to 39. Bring the team within five, which, which right now is sh at shooting guard. That's close to near impossible. And here we go. Is and Eddie gives it to du Dwight Howard. Gives it to Eddie. Eddie will give it to Steve Nash. Nash will. Nash has no choice but to give it back to Eddie. Eddie covered by by Harton. Good ball movement, but he misses. And another reaching call on Eddie, as Eddie's been moved to power forward for that. So right now, Eddie is not doing so good. No points. No points against the Thunder. That's the White Howard. And there's a defensive rebound for Mr. Griner, and he apparently called a timeout, apparently. So here's Eddie. Eddie trying to make a speedy move. And he does make a good shot selection, and he will score. And now there's a nine-point difference between the Thunder now he has to guard Kevin Durant, but he didn't do a dunk, and he'll really got in his face, literally. So here's Eddie, trying to make another move. He will give it to Kobe, and there's his second assist of the game. And here we get the Lakers are starting to mount on a comeback here. And there's another foul on Eddie, so we may see him foul out here at this point. And there he is, he gives it to, speaking of Dwight Howard, Eddie gives it to him, and Eddie and Dwight gives it back to him. And then he gives it to his man, Pau Gasol, who gives it to Dwight Howard. And there's a pass to assist right there for the Lakers. Uh, ooh, look out. And that wasn't allowed to score there. So Eddie's back at power forward. And there he goes. There goes Eddie. Eddie's trying to make a shot, and he almost got it there, but he still missed. Now he has to guard James Harden here. Oh wait, no wait, wait, does he? Wait, oh my goodness. Double team! And, ooh, almost got Westbrook, but he got him off guard there, so give him, give Russell Westbrook credit for that. 
And there you see Eddie gives it to Kobe. And there's his third assist of the night. Uh oh, look out. Don't want to get to leave an assignment here. Oh no, not after that. Twenty-five, jeez, and Eddie keeps getting two at the very least. And here goes Eddie. Ryan to make it through. He makes it and he still misses a close shot. So it's sixty to forty-eight Oklahoma City. So yeah, at this point. But it's still early. And uh oh, Duran and well, thankfully he missed. And there you see a nice dunk by James Harton. A 40 of the dunk intensity meter. Which. And here you go, Eddie Griner. This is again. Oh boy. Hang on. I have to check this. I have to check. What's this? 14? Wow, this matchup's doing pretty well. In this position battle. So he failed. Yeah, you know you're good if your bench has 13 points. And they have more points than your power forward. And Steve Nash gives it to Eddie Griner. Eddie loses it, and there's turnover number four. And there's Westbrook. Oh, he almost broke that up, but nope. So there's Eddie, trying to get a four point, but nope, turnover number five. And he misses the dunk, and there's a, not another defensive rebound. And there's a nice pass to Kobe, at the buzzer, got it. There's another assist there for Eddie. As Eddie is starting to be good on the defensive side of the ball, but at the end of the third quarter, the Thunder leads 66 to 50. Time for the advertisement. The NBA season pushes on. Chris Paul and the Los Angeles. Boo. Wait, yay, LA. More NBA next Tuesday. And uh, wow, the Clippers are eight and ten. That is better than what that's ter the Clippers are doing really better in real life and and also why is Griner not on the bench yet? And there's turnover number six. Oh boy. Time out. Well, Ed Eddie was out there for the entire third quarter, coach. You should have benched him there. And that was a bad shot selection, so his teammate Gray takes a dip there. And Coach Brown is probably regretting not, not sending Brian right to the bench, and he got ignored. And there you see a nice dunk there as it's a 52 66 52. So I bet right now the social media is probably saying, is probably saying, It's probably saying that Eddie gave the Thunder this victory. And there you see Eddie, and there's a nice, there's a nice move, but he still misses. So that's his field goal percentage is now at an 11 percent. Ugh, yikes! Not liking what we're seeing here, and that was a. And there you see Kobe, Kobe Bryant. And there you see, there you see Eddie. 
make it through that confusion. He still misses and is now at his field goal percentage is now at a 10%. Uh oh, look out, leave assignment, look out. Or worse, allow man to score. And there it is, and he misses again at 9%. Oh boy. Yeah, he's going to miss, so he'll pass it at any chance he gets. That's probably the, the option at this point. And not a defensive rebound there. No, look out, Eddie. He tried to block a little early. So he gives it to Dwight. Dwight gives it to Eddie. Has Eddie said no? My, look at my field goal percentage. It's terrible. Give it, pass it. So there's a, he does complete a milestone against the Thunder, recording five assists in one game. But that's not going to help his teammate, Greg, because he just gave up to Ibaka there. Well, at least someone's doing worse than Griner. Kendrick Perkins with zero. And there is a nice play, but he misses. And it goes out of bounds. So a 20-point loss for the... For the a possible 20 point loss here for the Lakers. Oh, here's Ibaka. Now Eddie has to jump at the right time, but good job there, by Good job, Eddie. Ooh, and I'm surprised he didn't get fouled for that. And what do you expect? He had four coming into this game. And there's Kobe, and he makes it, and just like that, we're back to a 20-point de deficit. But at this point, the game's technically over, because it didn't bump up the quarters. Which, right now, at this point, bumping them may not be a bad idea. Bumping them up may not be a bad idea, but, of course, Eddie made that little goof up. But he does get credited with a good shot defense, which I'm kind of surprised about that. And there's another good bucket, and just like that, we're 18 points away. And there's a, another good shot defense as his teammate grade is starting to rise here. And what the? Uh, wow, look what, are you serious, <laughs> look at Nash, what, watch Nash, seriously, what's that behind there, seriously, there you see Steve Nash, and, so a good transition defense, but he left Duran in the open, so that was not smart. So right now at this point, the Lakers just got to focus on the Jazz. So the three, the... So a 20-point lead for the Thunder. Oh no. There you see a nice pass to Kobe, and that would have been a good last second, last final second assist there, but nope. So the Thunder are going to win by 20, and a disappointing effort by Eddie Griner. But he did, did put in a little bit of improvement with the def defensive rebounds, but it's not, it didn't help as the Thunder still win the game. They still won by a huge difference and the player of the game I think it's Kevin Durant yep it is Kevin Durant so now let's go to the press conference here 
before we focus on the Jazz. You seem to have a difficult time holding on to the ball out there. Was the defense just too much for you to handle? They played some solid defense, but I really think this one's on me, truthfully. I can't give up the ball the way I did. I, it was just a bad game on my part, no question. I don't let this kind of thing be forgotten about very easily either, so believe me when I tell you it's going to be on my mind next game and the next one and the game after that until I'm confident that it's not going to happen again. Well, it has been happening on you, but at least Eddie took responsibility. Let's see how high the... Okay, good. The volume's not high enough. So at least Eddie took responsibility that he cost him the game. But there's still room for improvement, which Eddie should have said. He said that to the press. And uh oh, new sit down topics available. New sit down topics available with the GM, which I think we may see that in just a second. As Eddie's fan base on Twitter grows, says, let's take a look at the social media. As you can see, as you can see. And as you can see, and as you can see, I, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see, and as you can see, hold on one second. What? Apparently they weren't talking to me. So now let's meet with the GM here to see what the new topic is. And see what Eddie has to say about life as a Laker. Gotta love it. Once again, if you guys haven't paid attention, Eddie has a new haircut. We think he's doing a great job as well. The team is heading in the right direction, and he has our full support. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. By the way, 2K, good job with this uh, G talk to GM feature. Because I don't know if this is Ms. Kopchak's office, but if I've seen it. Which I don't, which I haven't. I think this might be a good idea what it looks like. But for the moment, I need all of our attention on winning this game against the Jazz. No problem. We'll see about the rest in due time. In due time, that's what we like to see. So as you can see, one for eleven. That is unacceptable, but at least at least Daddy did take responsibility for that loss. There, so now it's on to our game against the Jazz, and up to our game against the Jazz, which is good, which are, who are 9 and 12, who are 5 and 5, so we have to be careful here. We do have to be careful, but hold on one second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that, folks. So, so here we go as we get ready to face off against the Jazz at the Staples Center. Here we go. So here we go, on our game against the Jazz, the Lakers have a 16-9 lead, so this will be Eddie's first ever game against Utah, and he will pass it to his man Dwight Howard, and he gives him his chance, and there's his first bucket, and he will score, and just like that, he's one for one. Lakers 
shipped off to Mar Odom before last season started. And uh, just got a late first round pick from Dallas in return. Not exactly uh, what you would expect in terms of uh, well, players. And what would the Lakers do with that first pick? They got an Odom. And guess what? They waved him. Yeah, what do you expect? And there's a pass to Kobe, and there's an assist. Got a little nervous there. And just like that, Mike Coach Brown is liking what he sees out of Eddie Griner. So here we go. He's subbed in for a shooting guard. He is with a legend, so he is learning. Technically, he is learning from Steve Nash, but he will pass it to Pau Gasol. In fact, if you guys haven't followed follow Pau Gasol, what are you doing? And there's Eddie Griner, and now he's two for two. Wait, I think he's two for two. Let's see. Yeah, he is two for two. What do you know? What do you know? He's two for two. So there you see Foy. Oh, look out then. Personal foul. Ooh. So another foul here. So I swear this is the this is probably one of Eddie's foul episodes here. And as you can see, Coach Coach Brown is liking what he sees out of Eddie right now. And here we go as Eddie Griner continues to possibly follow up here. And he will pass it to Powell. Powell gives it to Steve Blake. And that's almost a three-point play there. But frankly, who cares? The Lakers are up, and uh, look out, and, and here come the Jazz, which I gotta say, the Jazz's jerseys, not bad. And there you see Eddie, and that ends the streak. Uh, so he's now two for three, and uh-oh. Here we go, and let's see if Eddie can get a rejection here on Gordon and Jordan Hayward, but no, he didn't. But a valiant attempt to stop him, though. So here goes Eddie. Eddie, and there's Eddie's first turnover. So here we go, and there's Jordan Hayward. He gives it to E. Watson. So here we go, as with the clock ticking down, and, and there's Jordy Meeks. Gives it to Eddie Griner with three seconds left. Can he get a last second shot off? Nope, he didn't. So that's the end of the first half. The score, the Lakers lead the Jazz, 54-39. Welcome to the 2K Sports Studios. Such great rivalry going on tonight. Let's check out how the first half is gone. Now, presented as Dwight Howard. And that's it. And that's it, we're back at the Staples Center as he is back in there with 3.08 left to go in the half. So here we go, the Thunder, I mean, the Lakers, the Eddie, a uh, member of the Thunder, yeah, right. And here we go with Eddie, and here we go with Eddie starting to get his cold spell starting up here. And, uh, ooh. Nearly got him there. And here we go. There goes Eddie. But Eddie. And there you see Eddie. Still shoots and he misses again. Oh boy. Wake up Eddie. So the Jazz are starting to catch up. And there's a foul. And here's a new game tip, but let me read that real quick. Yada yada yada, shut up. So here's Al Jefferson. He'll make the free throw and he'll take a seat. And now with a minute 20 left to go in the... In the third quarter, the Lakers are up by eight. And here's Antoine Jameson blocked. And here we go. Here's Mo Williams. As he is going to try and... Uh, ooh. Eddie was ready to foul to block him there. And here he goes. Gives it to Foy. And Eddie's not paying attention to who this guy is. And now and there's a man to man and there's Jordy Meeks who gives it to Kobe. Kobe. 
takes the shot and he will make the bad shot and just like that the Lakers are up by 10. Half hour. Well, there is a reaching call against Eddie so that's the second foul of the game. As Eddie's been moved to a small forward role here for right now. Because Steve Nash is back out there. So here we go as Eddie has, gets ready to take on his new role. As Kobe will pass it to Eddie who gives it to Antoine Jameson. Don't forget Jameson has that one year contract so yeah. So and here we and now Eddie continues to miss. I don't understand it. Why is he missing? He must be dull I missing. And Eddie, another reach in again. I swear, this is... Oh, boy. Eddie, wake up. I guess the referees in this episode are hating Eddie. Because he does that. There you see Steve Nash. And there you see three seconds left. He makes the bucket for the last second. And just like that, the Lakers will end the third quarter with a 73-65 lead over Utah. So it's time for the advertisement for December 15th. Yes, I know what all of you are thinking. It are, is Eddie going to face the Nets in Brooklyn? But that's probably going to be later in the series. So if we... If we... So here's Eddie. Trying to make a move. He, he loses the ball. And there's turnover number two. So if they do win this game, at least Eddie should be proud that he didn't have enough as many as six turnovers. No, but now the lead, the win may be slipping away because of that play right there. So here we go, Eddie Griner. And there we go. As Eddie Griner completes a milestone, that's point number 100. So a big milestone right there for Eddie Griner, and that's another reaching foul there, so that's four so far. Well, didn't get him there, and there's man a oh man, and that did not work. So Mo Williams with 13 points, so. So there's Eddie. Boy, it gives it to Pau Gasol. Gasol with the bucket, and he will make it. So just like that. Wait. The Jazz lost to the Raptors. Are you serious, bro? And there you see Kobe Bryant. Kobe on a move. Oh, nice dunk by Kobe Bryant. What? What? Oh, and again, if you don't follow the Lakers, the, the Twitter feed's on the court, literally. Let me show that to you. I do apologize for not showing the delay. If you don't follow the Lakers... Oh, whoops. It's on the other side. Oh, I missed. If, by the way, if you have a Twitter page... If you don't follow the Lakers, which I feel sorry for you, there you go. At Lakers, that's how you. That's how you can follow the Lakers. So a ten-point lead for the the Lakers. Oh, and that's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be a Laker ball again here. 
So here we go, it's Eddie Griner. We'll have to make a choice here, and he will choose his man, Dwight Howard, who gives it to Casal and a pass to assist right there. 81 to 71 here, so a 10 point lead here for the Lakers. But will they be able to hang on? And there's Rajah Bell, who should have been a Laker, but isn't. And there's an offensive rebound, but not allowed to score, and he called a timeout, apparently. So here he goes, Eddie gives it to Kobe. And here we go as Eddie Griner continues to try and get in here. Gives it and that's turnover number three. Oh, he blocked the wrong guy. Ooh, that was a big mistake. He didn't block the right guy. So here we go. Oh no, please don't you dare drive by. Don't you dare. Ah! Oh, and another turnover. Oh boy. Oh, and the Jazz are taking advantage of it. Are taking advantage of Eddie's mistakes. Oh boy. So once again, Eddie decides despite his 38% field goals. Chances are he doesn't want to risk getting a another turnover again. Five plus turnover, so he's going to do the right thing. Pass. He's going to pass it here. Because his assist numbers aren't as good as it was in the last game. So that's point number two for Eddie. So here he is, Mo Williams, and guess what? Dwight gets the foul. So here we go, 91 seconds left. As Eddie's moved back to small forward. So here we go, 90, almost not, over 91 seconds left. And there's a nice pass to Dwight Howard. Howard, trying to find an open man. But Eddie is clearly open, and there's a mistake there. And he let him score, and just like that, the Lakers' lead is starting to diminish. Gives it to Pau Gasol, and there's another assist. So his assist numbers are getting good. And there's Steve Nash, and I think if he scores this, or Gasol does it, this could pretty much seal it right here. And there you see, he gives it to Eddie, what? And he gives it to Gasol. Gasol gives it to, who did he give it to? He gave it to Kobe. Kobe. And... And he misses it there. So here we go, and there you see Steve Nash and a personal foul on Paul Millsap. So here we go, and another personal foul, and this time Steve Nash goes to the line as he moves the power forward. So here we go as another, as Eddie keeps moving positions here. And he'll be a shooting guard for the 20, the final seconds here. And he's going to go back to a D plus because he allowed him to score there. As Metal World, he's got his first foul. So here we go as that's another personal foul. So I think Dwight's going to go back to the, go, go to the, oh it's Metal World Peace. Let's go into the line as Eddie's now been moved to point guard. It's absolutely hilarious. So here we go. And here we go. Ooh, almost, almost a block there. And there you see Kobe who gives it to Eddie Griner for the final seconds here. And there you see he gives it to Pau Gasol who gives it to Kobe. 
And that is it. The Lakers win 88-81. So a big victory for the Lakers who rebound after that humiliating loss against Oklahoma City. So he gets 35 SP. Oh, don't you dare. 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 Okay, he's fine. Okay, he's fine. So the player of the game is Dwight Howard. And now it's time to head to the press conference here. Alright, I don't like my chances against these copyrighted cars right now. So I'm going to end the video up right here. So next episode, we're probably going to see some social media. See ya.